I was invited to speak for about a week worth of lectures in Argentina. The trip from Minnesota, where I lived, to Argentina, to Buenos Aires, was a long, miserable trip. And this was a particularly bad flight. I don't enjoy flying. I don't know anybody who does. It was almost 19 hours. It was miserable. So when I get there, I'm really looking forward to the hotel room to recover. The Chabad Shliach picks me up, and we're on our way to the hotel. And he says, you know, there's a woman in the community suffered a terrible tragedy. 19-year-old son, he was in a car accident as he got close to the city. His friends in the car survived and he did not. She is severely depressed. She hasn't left her apartment in over six months. She refuses to talk to anybody. And we're very worried about her. But she finally agreed to speak to you. So we made an appointment and we'll stop at her apartment on the way to the hotel. It, it was so outrageous. No warning. You didn't ask me if I want to. You just went ahead and made an appointment. So we go there. This woman was not among the living. It's like she had died and nobody told her. The room felt like death. There was no life in her, in the room, in her, in her color, in her eyes, in her tone, nothing. It was, it was very scary. And she tells me the story. What can you possibly say? So I said, you had such an incredible son. You had him for 19 years. If God had come to you and said, there is this incredible neshama needs to be born for 19 years, and I'm looking for someone to be his mother. And if God would have said to you, would you please be the mother of this boy for 19 years? What would you have said? I was sure she would say yes. She said, absolutely not. So without thinking, I said, well, it's a good thing he didn't ask you. The flood of tears that opened up, that's been waiting for six months to come out, finally poured out. She cried her heart out. And 20 minutes later, she was back alive. I saw a woman come back alive from the dead. Such an amazing experience. Probably the most dramatic moment in, in 50 years of talking to people. So now we're back in the car and we're going to the hotel room. And I'm thinking, I was so upset that they didn't ask me if I wanted to speak to this woman. And then I realized if they had asked me, what would I have said? Absolutely not. And that would have been the wrong answer. Because it was such an incredible experience. It was worth more than all the hotel rooms in the world. So I made up my mind that from now on, if something good can happen, if I can be of any kind of service, the answer is always absolutely yes.